In this brief video, we're going to take a look at Optex FA's newest low-cost fiber optic amplifier, the D1RF series. I think it has some very useful features, so let's take a look. First off, this D1RF series from Optex has an IP66 rating with the cover off. This means you can mount it outside of the cabinet. The next cool feature is this sensor has mounting holes that allow you to mount the sensor without the use of a DIN rail mount or a bracket. With a price point starting below $70, you might think this sensor skimps on functions. Well, let's take a look. To get into the menu functions, Press and hold the set button for three seconds. Once inside the menu, you can use the plus and minus keys to get around the display. Light on, dark on being the first setup. There's a factory reset to go back to factory settings. There's a light power level, which will allow you to set three different levels of high, standard, and low to increase or decrease the light output coming from the amplifier. And this amplifier is very bright. The display can be set up to read out in percentages, a bar graph, digital, or just have it turned off if you like. For this demo, we'll keep it in uh, digital. The next function is the output setting. With this, you can select either NPN or PNP, which is a really nice feature that will allow you to have one amplifier do both types of outputs. The delay is the timer function. You can do on delay, off delay in one shot, pretty much any value up to 10 seconds. The next is response time setting. There's two settings. A standard, which is 250 microseconds, and a fast, which is 50 microseconds. And then back to light on, dark on mode. To get back into the run mode, go to end and press the set button. Once back in the run mode, you can press the teach button for three seconds, and you'll go into the teaching setup. There are several different ways to teach this sensor. One point teach, two point teach, a zone teach, which is a window comparator, and auto teach. If you like more details on the teach functionality, give this video a like and we'll make it happen. So how do you demonstrate a high speed 50 microsecond fiber optic amplifier? Well, with a fidget spinner, spinning as fast as you can, of course. So with the sensor set at 50 microsecond response time and set in the run mode, press and hold the teach button for three seconds. Using the plus or minus keys, go till you find the auto mode. Press the teach button and then spin the spinner. After a few seconds, press the teach button to stop and the sensor will automatically set the threshold level. Here I've got the fidget spinner going at a really high speed, but I've slowed it down so you can see the output turning on and turning off. I think when you put it all together with the IP66 rating, the high speed response time, and the low price point, Optex has really put together a compelling sensor for the market. If you'd like more information, please visit us at optex-ramco.com. <laughs>